Most of the decisions you make each day, where you drive, what you buy, even the price you pay for breakfast, aren't really yours. They're shaped by a network of invisible systems so old, so deeply woven into daily life, that most of us never notice them at all. Take something as simple as your morning commute. The route you use wasn't designed around efficiency or convenience. It was shaped decades ago by federal highway money, zoning laws, and a quiet agreement between cities and car manufacturers. That made roads the dominant way Americans move. Saying your choice to drive, in reality, is the end result of a system built long before you were born. Or consider the grocery store. The reason milk is always in the back isn't an accident. It's a tactic invented by early retailers to make you walk past as many products as possible. Today, an algorithm decides which shelf each item sits on, which brand gets your attention, and what price you're willing to pay, often before you've even stepped inside. Even your electricity is the product of a balancing act happening every millisecond. Somewhere right now, a grid operator is predicting your behavior. How many lights you'll turn on when you'll start cooking, whether a heat wave will push the system to the edge. It's one of the only industries where supply must perfectly meet demand at every moment or everything fails. The truth is, the world feels chaotic. Beneath the surface is a sprawling network of engineers, planners, algorithms, and unspoken agreements quietly guiding the rhythm of modern life. You don't have to see these systems to feel their impact, but once you know they exist, you start to recognize them everywhere, shaping your choices, nudging your habits, and reminding you that the world is far more designed than it appears. And the more you learn about them, the more the everyday starts to make just a little more sense.